evening, everyone! My name is Heath Haskins, Code Prime, and this is Lumber Tycoon 2. Now, before I get started off, uh, I've got a couple letters I need to read off for everybody, and then I also have to explain about what happened in the live stream. So, on Friday night's live stream, I did some karaoke stuff because Roblox itself was down and we couldn't get in here and play the awesomeness that I normally do. Um, but then what happened was I went and did some karaoke. All right, so I played videos and sang along with the songs and everything was good. And everybody was yelling at me, they're like, copyright strike, dude, you're going to get copyright. I understand. I know. All right, I've, I've gotten copyright strikes on my channel before. In fact, I've got copyright notices uh, that I will show you. And that's not a problem. Like, um, where is it? Chrome, right there. Boom. Fade. These are all copyright... Um, things that happen. The only thing that's ever happened in the past is this right here. The the monetizing, I don't get to monetize, so I, I don't get money for it. What happens is the copyright owner actually, like whoever owns that song, they put advertisements on there and then they get the revenue for that. So, I mean, no harm, no foul. That's what's always happened. But apparently because um, I had the video in there, so this is this is the crazy part. The video itself was visual content, and that visual content got blocked globally. I was like, uh, okay, but I didn't get any kind of notice for it. I just said, hey, your live stream has been stopped, and once the the, the streaming content, uh, the the copyright content is stopped streaming, we'll turn it back on. No problem. Okay, cool. I go to live stream on Saturday. And I found out my live streaming has been completely turned off. Like, it's it's not even, like, it, I don't have an option for it. So, um, here, here, ba, 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 do this again. Sorry, I know it sounds like I'm complaining. And yeah, I am kind of, because this, this doesn't make any sense. Um, my, look, copyright status, I'm in good standing. Community guidelines, I'm in good standing. Live streaming's been disabled. Okay? Uh, why? So I contacted uh, support, and apparently, um, yeah, they they were they were helpful to an extent, but I didn't like the answers because, like I told them, I, I got rid of the video. If you go and look for that that live stream, it's not there. I just it's gone. But um, because of the visual content, blah 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 strike, you're now out for like ninety days, three months of live streams. That's that's two, four, six, eight. That's eight streams per month that I'm not going to be able to do. So I don't, I don't know what to tell you guys. Um, I'm sorry, and I hope it's, I hope it works out because I, I asked them. I'm like, what can you do about this? And they're like, oh, there's nothing we can do. I said, no, I don't like that answer. Let me talk to your manager. And like, well, we can send it up to the internal team. Cool. Send it up to the internal team. Send it up to a manager. Send it up to somebody because this is like that's way too long. I mean, that's that. What? I understand if it was like my fifth, sixth time of getting like a copyright strike on that particular thing, I would understand. And then, yeah, strike my channel, but no live streaming for 90 days because I was doing karaoke. <sighs> Anyhow, sorry, that's my rant. Don't comment on that, by the way. Don't, don't, don't leave comments down below. That's, it's in the past. Anyhow, um, if you still want to watch my live streams and stuff, it's going to be on Twitch and Twitter and you now. So I'm, I'm not, YouTube's, we're probably not going to be live streaming on YouTube. I'm still going to be doing videos every single day. And I, like I said, I've got other things to do. I've got some lumber to do. I've got to read off Thomas's email. So from Thomas, I did get your letter. Thank you for sending it to me. And it's not really a letter. It says Thomas and then it says his last name. I'll cover that up. 10-6-2018. Please show on a video. And he drew a little picture of me right there. Yay! It says Code Primate. And then I got like some jagged, like shark teeth looking thing. But I love it. I love it. That is that is definitely, that is going up in the office on my wall. So I will take that to, to work. What happened to the green screen? Thank you, Thomas. Appreciate it so much. I love fan letters. And if you'd like to send fan mail to me, I understand it's not email, but I'm also, I'm not going to give out my email on there. Um, if you'd like to send fan mail, right there's the P.O. box. You can do a, a hard letter like this, um, or you can tweet at me at uh, CodePrimate on Twitter. 
So either way, uh, must be 13 years of age in order to own a Twitter account, blah, blah, blah. But you are not restricted at any age to send mail. So that's that. And I got a second one. And this one's from Aiden. By the way, I do pre-open them so I'm not like presenting inappropriate content of some kind. Anywho, this one says, Dear Code, it's me again, Aiden D. I, uh, and I noticed that in the last letter I wrote, I forgot to write back the number address. I don't have a PO box, but here's where you can send it to. One, three, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna read it out loud. <laughs> Everybody's like, wait, no, don't do it. <clears throat> uh, anyhow, here is a bit of anime that I can draw um, and you can show on camera, please. Thanks. And then he drew a little thing. I'll show it in just a second. Heath as an anime somewhat. And then it's got a little thought bubble and I'm, I'm, uh, it's the, it's the purple, purple ribbon. Um, can I have your signature? Yes. Yes. Uh, I will have to get like, we'll have to get together inside the game in order to do it. And I'm going to fold this down so the address is hidden, but I will show your anime real quick. Hold on. i got to fold it in a specific way. There we go. That should be good. So there's, there's drawing. He says an anime, kind of. And then it's got my little thought bubble right there. Can I have your signature? So, sorry. Green screen is messing up like crazy. I, I think the cold weather is getting to it. Uh, he goes on to say, it's not the best, but at least I tried. You did good. Like, you did a really good job. Uh, I'm still working on my mansion, and it is, it's harder than it sounds to build. Building is hard. I mean, look at my palm bridge. How long has that thing taken? Uh, my hand is... My hand and some of my arm got tired when writing and drawing this. If you can maybe write your email so we can contact easier. Mm, I don't know. <clears throat> it's like business email. So then that would be great. I am in sixth grade and it is hard at my school. It's K through six. So I'm almost in middle school. I gave you, I gave you a baseball card that I have two of. I wish we could collab, but if we can't, that's perfectly fine. Do you maybe know the song Havana? Havana Unana. Yes. Yes, I do. Uh, nice talking to you. My channel is Aiden. Ooh, it's it's your name, but I can't say the last name because it would. If I said the first name and the last, that's eh, personal information. Um, you might think about changing your channel name just in case. I know mine says Heath Haskins, but like, um, mine's kind of stuck, by the way, because I actually created my YouTube channel before it got taken over by Google. So when I went to go and change the channel name. I can't. It's literally stuck as Heath Haskins. Anyhow, um, and it's the cursive one. And it's the cursive one. Love Aiden smiley face. Aiden, thank you so much. Love you too, dude. And um, thank you for the, the letter that is definitely going up on the wall. I have a I have a wall at my cubicle at my work that I hang like drawings and stuff on. What was I doing? Oh, okay, so uh, let's get rid of the color source and that and the P.O. box. Fade that out. Get that out. Steven, get that out of here. There it goes. Good job. Good job, Steven. Steven's my stage hand. He takes care of me and stuff. Okay, so let's go um, post ladder. Yeah, that's that's where I'm going. Uh, we are, ooh, we're almost 10 minutes in. I told myself, I'm, you're just gonna do a 15 minute video, but that's probably not gonna happen. Um, I actually have uh, a place to be tomorrow to go and, oh gosh, oh, come on. Um, I'm gonna go work on uh, some computers. So my CPA, she does our taxes and stuff at the end of the year. And uh, what I do in exchange for her services is I give her computer services and stuff like that. I still like pay for my taxes to get done and stuff like that. But she's um, she was actually filing taxes for my mom whenever my mom was still alive, and she has been a really good friend through like everything. She was here whenever me and Liz got married. She's been here for both of my kids, so. Uh, she sold us furniture. We got uh, like my bed and my um, table 
there through her. And then we have um, like the armoire, ar armoire, armoire, something like that. That's uh, through her company as well. Anyhow, she does excellent job. So tomorrow I'm going to be going over and hooking up her new computers. Uh, she just did a refresh of all of her PCs. Uh, she runs a, a tax business. And that's what we're going to do tomorrow. So <clears throat> i got to make sure I get enough sleep so I can drive out there, hang out. Oh, speaking of driving, I got a new car. <clears throat> well, it's not a new car. It's a it's a 2011 Ford Taurus. Yes, it's got like 142,000 miles on it, so it's not it's not brand new, and that's okay. But I'm very happy with my purchase. Like uh, at first, I kind of I liked it, but I didn't love it. And then after driving it around a little bit, it's got a V6 in it. It's, it's nice. It's got a lot of room. And now I'm a tall guy. I got kids and I got a wife. I gotta haul everybody around, so having lots of room is gonna be good. Uh, plus, what's really nice is um, I do plan on doing. Oh gosh, what happened there? I do plan on doing conventions and meetups and stuff like that eventually. Um, as you guys know, with my wife's cancer, kids in school, like just stuff. I have I have young kids and I've got uh, I've got um, kids with special needs. Just like I have special needs, um, although mine aren't as apparent as most. Definitely, if you meet me in person, you would know how awkward I am. <laughs> but uh, my wife tells me all the time, "You're like a little social butterfly." So I'll agree with that. I uh, I think I've learned to basically interact with people <laughs> through my years of experience. Mm -hmm. Don't get too close, God. You're gonna, you're gonna get too close, and that thing's gonna go flying off. Yeah, you're right. Anyhow, uh, I, um, yeah. So, oh, uh, speaking of which, and this is this is pretty much for like the parents or for teens. If you're if you're thinking about going and getting a loan to purchase a used car, okay, do what's called um, borrowing against a CD. Okay, normally when you get a CD, and you can only do this if you have the money available to do um, a thing. So when you're young, you don't really have uh, too much credit. And if I had known this whenever I was younger, I would have totally done it. Um, a CD is basically where you take money, you place it into an account, and it sits there for like a year, 24 months, 18 months, whatever whatever the terms are, and then it matures or it gains money. So like if you have a thousand dollars and you get a 1.25% interest, which is, that's really good, um, CD for a year, then you would get $1,250 back. So you put a thousand in, get $250. And I mean, it's, it's like money for free, right? But um, what you can do to build credit during that time, take, like uh, take a, an amount, uh, and some there's some banks that'll do like five hundred dollars. Take that amount, place it into a CD, and then place the CD into a loan, and use it as collateral. And then what you would do is you would be borrowing money against the the CD. So that way you can you can go and like say you have a thousand bucks and you want to go buy something, don't go and buy that thing. Take that thousand bucks, go get a CD from the bank and then get a loan for that money in the bank, then go buy that thing with the $1,000 that you get from the bank. And then you just, you basically pay off the bank for the, the next like year or so, and you get $1,025 back. Of course you have to, you still have to pay off a loan, but you're paying a much lower interest rate because you have guaranteed money that's in there and it comes back like, it's really good, <laughs> but it's uh, it's something that you can do to build credit instead of uh, taking out a loan and trying to, because when you're you're young and you don't have credit line yet, then it's it's really hard to uh, establish credit. So, and I I don't know I'm not a CPA. That's why I have a CPA to do my taxes. But if you want to learn stuff like that, take accounting. Accounting is the way. 
And if there's any uh, anybody out there who your parents are accountant or your accountant yourself, like tell me down in the, the thing. Hashtag, mm, hashtag accountant. Hashtag accountant. That's, that's going to be the term. Mm. Um, and I found something else out about my videos. Like, you guys aren't watching because I'm doing a building video. You're watching because I talk. So the more I talk, uh, the better it is. Not that I'm like to call, talking about anything in particular, but I do believe my conversations inside my own head are pretty good. I mean, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I'd agree with that. That's that's fair statement. Having my own conversations. Better when I talk to Tom. Tom answers back. He's a good conversationalist. Ain't that right, Tom? Oh, you can't hear me from here. Hmm. Is he in there? Yeah, he's in there. I don't think that guy ever takes a break in his life. I would talk to Reuven, but he's just mean. Yeah, look at him just stare out the window. He's like, I don't like this job. Why do I have to work in the land store? There's only one person in the server. He's not even wanting any land. He's bought it all. Can I take a break? Poor Reuven. How many people can you see from spawn, I wonder? There's just one, I think. You can only see Tom, because when you first land at spawn, you don't... You, you can't see Reuven at all. I hope this is getting up there in the right spot. <clears throat> oh, magic. Um, I've been performing magic tricks since... Oh, thank you. Christian Saladin. Thank you so much for your subscribe. Shout out to Christian. Christine? Christine? Christian. I, ooh, um, I don't know what it said. But shout out. It's on, it's on video. It's there. It's good. It's good. Uh, union break. Hmm. There's got to be a leak or something, because that's the second time that my coffee's just all gone. Is it leaked out somewhere? I don't know. Coffee's gone again. That's okay. I probably drink it all. It's good. By the way, I did not realize how long it takes for me to build these ladders and build these things. I mean, I think I remember from the first time that I built a palm bridge, but I keep telling myself like, oh, that was easy, no problem. And then I think back, me and Blobby had like a two day stint of just building, like constantly building up the doors at the very end. And that's when I realized this is going to take a while. Come on, come on. I got two more. Two more, and then I can go up there and place place the top ladders. And then that's that'll be this video. This this episode was brought to you by ladders. <coughs> In association with doors. <laughs> Produced by Code Barbie. Oh, by the way, I, I also have... Um, I've been contacted by a rather large YouTuber to do some voice acting. Yes, that's right. I will be doing some voice acting soon. Um, but I can't give away any details. Ah. So, um, get a book coming out. It's gonna be in March, January, February, March. Yeah, March. Um, oh, live streams start back in February. I think it's like February 14th or something like that. Which, wait, isn't that Valentine's Day? Or something? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay, Google. When is Valentine's Day? Valentine's Day is on Thursday, February 14th, 2019. It is on... <laughs> so my restriction comes off on Valentine's Day. Oh my goodness. That's, that's ironic. A little bit. Be like... Be my Valentine live stream. It's gonna be be my Valentine live. Watch, it's yeah. <clears throat> Anywho, let's go. That's why we're just gonna be building. Everybody hashtag uh, be my Valentine in the chat below. That's gonna be funny. People who don't watch the full video and they just skip around to find the, the build parts, they're gonna be like, why is everybody commenting this down below? 
Of course, you're, you're going to get a whole bunch of people like giving responses. I'll be your Valentine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. And good. I watched uh, a comedian tonight. I can't mention his name. I can't mention um, who it was or give credit to him. But he, like, he pointed out points out a lot of things that are flawed with society nowadays, like uh, music and like. If you're having a bad day, all right, and you're using my video to find comfort, good. I want to say that that is a that is a good thing. Now, on that same note. If you are having some serious problems, if you are actually getting beat up or abused or like, my videos are not therapy. My videos cannot help you. All right, I, I'm good at like helping you to relax, helping you to kind of like wash off the day, I guess. But when it comes down to like a physical need or a immediate like correction needed I'm I'm here to entertain at the end of the day I'm here to entertain you and to get a laugh and for myself because this is my rewind like this is my unwind time this is me relaxing this is me playing video games and if it wasn't this I would probably be playing some runescape um, I would probably be playing something on my phone and the reason it's lumber is because you guys love lumber I love building in lumber and that's a good thing plus it, it like if I do other videos of other games in Roblox it doesn't get as many views so am I doing it for the views well not intentionally but yes because you guys have shown me like this is the game you want to what is that? What? Oh, hold on. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> so there's a little smear on my <laughs> monitor. <laughs> I totally thought that was a spookwood tree. It's that was not a spookwood tree at all. In fact, I'm, spookwood is done. It's it's past October. <laughs> Eureka! It, no, I would have walked all the way over there and then realized. Why, why is it always getting smaller as I'm walking towards it? Never mind. <clears throat> Anyhow, like I was saying, definitely if you're if you're experiencing some life-threatening real-life stuff, you need to get help. All right, you need to um, contact, talk to somebody. Okay. Do not use my videos as a form of therapy or I don't know why, why, why is this being brought up code well because of that guy that was in that comedy routine that he was talking about I just you know that's that's what I'm saying like Taylor Swift shake it off Okay, excellent. Shake it off. Haters gonna hate, right? But I mean, that's that's not gonna solve it if somebody's truly trolling you or stalking you. You know, that's it's not gonna help. Swifty, Swifties, Taylor. It's good advice. Good advice to shake it off. But I mean, there's a time that you need to call a cop. <laughs> You need to tell a teacher. You need you need to tell someone, you know? If you're getting bullied at school and somebody is physically hurting you, then that needs to be addressed. And it doesn't give you the permission to, like, if somebody is starting a fight with you, you don't have permission to hit them. You do have permission to, like, self-defend yourself. But if you're punching somebody and they're down on the ground with their hands over their face... The threat is done. You need to back off. Like, <clears throat> sorry. I'll, I'll, should, I should definitely get into a different subject. 
because that one's that one's really touchy for a lot of people. Um, just because we were taught, um, what is it? Force the the amount of force needed to resolve a situation. And one of our big things um, as correctional officers is, um, oh gosh, what's, what's it called? The overuse of force? Like, when somebody's down on the ground and they, they, yeah, and then you throw a punch at them, that's called an offensive strike that is no longer a defense thing. All right, let's move this and hit B, put it back. <clears throat> And it, it does happen. I mean, school fights, things, they, I'm not going to sit here and be naive and say, oh, no, the world's perfect. No, it's not. It is not perfect. All right. But I want you to know that it's not broken. The world is not broke. I promise. There, There's a lot of good people out there. There's a lot of good things. There's a lot of backwards doors. Oh, gosh. Now it's like way over there. Hold on. There we go. Right. So close and I can, there it is. So which way do I need to turn this? I need to go rotate, rotate like that. There we go. Now I can swing the door right out there. Oh, no, down one like that. Oh, no, 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 no. Is it close enough I can grab it? Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, there we go, move. Oh man, this is a lot harder not having the platforms below me. There was <laughs> little Dickens didn't want to jump in there. It's crazy. <clears throat> okay. Oh, oh, oh! What are you doing? See, and this is why you need to have like floodlights while working at nighttime. Down one. There. It is. No. Why? This thing has just got. Problems today. Am I not? There. <laughs> That's weird. No, oh, stop it. Okay. So the reason I have the the ladders like this, the way that I do, is because we're going to be going across uh, six different ones. Just going to move. B. Right. What in the world? Put that back. There we go. Put that one back. Put that one back there. Ah, uh, leave that one open. We'll, we'll have one open. And now, I can put these back because we're no longer shooting for this layer. There's the middle. And then move. And the other side. Sweet. How far along are we? 28 minutes. Oh my goodness. We spent that entire time just bonding. I mean, it was a build, but it was just ladders, right? Can't even see the ground anymore. Jeez. Glorious jump from the top. I'll try and do my outro on the way down. <laughs> I don't think it's going to work. Um, there's, there's, nah. Okay. So I'm going to try and jump and do the whole outro, hopefully before I hit the ground. <clears throat> Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Thousands, Good Prime, and oh, I missed it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end like a good YouTuber does. But remember, in the end, it's up to you. It's your choice. I can't press you into anything. But if you'd like to subscribe, if you'd like to hit the comment, if you'd like to hit the bell, that is all your choice. Love you guys very much. We'll talk to you very soon. And then there's the little buttons that I press. It's a, it's called a transition. This is all live, by the way. Okay, so the live streaming thing that I ranted about at the beginning, technically I could just record off a video and have it ready to go live at the same time that I do normal live streams, and it'd be an hour long. Now, you're not going to be able to interact with it, but um, that's okay. We'll still do live streams on Twitch, on uh, Mixer, all the other stuff. Not a problem. I'll get it taken care of. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. I'll talk to you very soon. Outro. Thank you.